Welcome to the video everybody. This is me, Payne from Judging Day Fitness. Now this is a fitness channel, but today we're going to be diving into the nine symptoms of testicular cancer. And there are other symptoms of course, but they're very uncommon. Um, so without further ado, here goes. Alright guys, just a disclaimer here. I'm not a medical professional. I am not uh, qualified to give you guys medical advice. I can I can help you guys out if you have any questions or anything. So message me on Instagram and Twitter if you need any advice or anything like that. Um, but I can still give you guys the information that I know and I can tell you guys how I relate to it at being how I had testicular cancer. Hopefully I can say had. I'll find out possibly or probably. Hopefully I can get conclusive results on June 19th which is next Monday. So I'm a few days away from that. Alright guys. So, one of the first signs for testicular cancer, and this is one that you see really early on before you might see everything else, and this is what I saw uh, before I saw everything else, because it was very visible. Uh, when I, I'll, I'll explain that later. Um, one of the first signs is something that feels or can be mistaken for a hernia, and this is what happened to me, is just a few days before this happened, I did a beautiful 315 pound squat, and my goodness, it was amazing. Um, and so a few days after that, something didn't feel right in my side, and I thought I had a hernia or a minor hernia, and I went and got that checked out, but right after I got it checked out, the other symptoms started showing. Um, and, I so, and I assumed that the reason all this stuff was happening was because of this 315-pound squat, which was so beautiful, by the way. Uh, and, and so that's, that's why, that's why this, this was caught a little later than, than I would like to have caught it. I caught it a month and a half after my symptoms started, but I really could have caught it maybe a month after, maybe you know, maybe even a few days after if I had done this right. All right, guys. So symptom number two of testicular cancer is the enlargement of one or both testicles, and in very, very rare cases, the shrinking of both testicles or one testicle, of course. But we're going to talk about both testicles being enlarged. Uh, that's what I had. I had one testicle being enlarged because I had testicular cancer in only one of these nuts, and thank goodness. Uh, so the enlargement is obviously caused by one or more tumors, which I had two tumors, and I'm glad that they're out of me, but I really miss my, my testicle. Um, now, sometimes your testicles will enlarge, and don't mistake it for this, so sometimes your testicles will enlarge through puberty, uh, and, and the increase of testosterone, if you're, if you're producing more testosterone, um, then your testicles will get larger so that they can produce more, but if only one is growing a lot, and in my case, my testicle quadrupled in size in a matter of a month and a half. That's an issue. That's something to be concerned about. And um, doesn't mean you're producing a lot more testosterone, unfortunately. You know there's something wrong when, uh, when your nuts match the size of your ego. All right, guys. So symptom number three for testicular cancer, one that I can relate to personally, is a completely hard as a rock or completely solid testicle. Now, normally my testicles aren't like made of jello or anything, uh, but in this case, it, can, it became as hard as a rock, and that's how you know it's the difference between, uh, between testicular cancer and an infection. With infection, there's a lot of fluid around the testicles, so you can test for this yourself. If you have a flashlight, maybe, um, or maybe like a laser pointer even, if you try and shine it through your testicle, uh, then if you, and, it go, and you can't see any light on the other side, and that means it's 100% solid, very dense, and that there's probably a tumor in there, or possibly a blood clot. I don't know how a blood clot in the testicle works. I'm not, I'm not really a medical expert, like I told you guys. Sign and symptom number four for testicular cancer, I almost fell back, is uh, a sensitivity or uh, pain in the testicles, and fortunately it was only one testicle, so it was only one testicle for me that was in pain, but... Uh, what happened was when my symptoms started, I couldn't run because my testicle would be knocking against my leg. You know how it works if you have them. Um, it normally doesn't hurt when you have them for other girls that are watching. But for guys that are watching, you know uh, it'd be very painful if they were sensitive. When I ran, I couldn't run without being in pain, so eventually I stopped running. And towards the last few days before my surgery, I could not even do squats. So that beautiful 315 squat has not been repeated for a very long time. And I'm ready to go back to it, but let me tell you what, I'm going to get fully recovered first. Sign and symptom number five for testicular cancer is a lump or change in shape in the testicles. Uh, I don't want to get into too much detail here, but I can personally relate to this, unfortunately. Now, this goes aside from getting enlarged if they change their shape. Like for me, uh, I'm going to get really personal with you guys here. I had 
spheres, okay, and I've, you know, you can have like a banana shape, but that's the thing. My testicles went from a sphere to kind of a banana shape, and that was the two tumors obviously changing the shape of my testicle as they were growing on it and inside it and just enlarging the whole thing, and it was pretty painful. Um, so if you, see a, if you see a lump or a, a change in shape anywhere in your body, get that checked out. If you see it on your testicles, you might have testicular cancer, but don't jump to conclusions here. Just get it checked out and then get your conclusion. All right, guys, so sign and symptom number six of testicular cancer is enlarged or swollen lymph nodes, and this is from them trying to fight the cancer itself. I don't know if I had this happen to me because what happened was I thought my lymph nodes were enlarged at one point, but it was only like one area, and it could have been it could have been something else. I don't know if I if I went through that personally, but if you see lymph nodes enlarging, then you might want to get that checked out. So sign and symptom number seven for testicular cancer. Sorry, it doesn't have it. It doesn't have no effect on the brain. Testicular cancer has no effect on the brain. I promise. Um, sign and symptom number seven for testicular cancer, and this is extremely rare and if you have this it does not guarantee that you have anything to do with testicular cancer but enlargement of the breasts and I cannot relate to this I promise you guys because I have so much trouble getting a big chest if you guys are new to this channel I like to work out a lot and unfortunately I'm having trouble getting a bigger chest but that's a size of point if you have an enlarged breast you could be um, testosterone deficient you could uh, let's see you could be eating too much soy and therefore, which turns into estrogen. Anyways, that's besides the point. If you have an enlarged breast, there's a possibility you have testicular cancer. Bear with me, you guys. We are almost done with this video. Uh, so sign and symptom number eight of testicular cancer is lower back pain. And I can relate to this personally. I don't think it was caused by my testicular cancer. I had lower back pain before I had testicular cancer. But ever since my um, surgery, and today marks three weeks from the surgery, ever since I, ever since my surgery, I haven't had any lower back pain. Uh, but that can be caused by testicular cancer. Oh, this may be embarrassing to say, but here's sign number nine of testicular cancer, and that is showing up positive on a pregnancy test. Now, I cannot relate to this personally. I did not take a pregnancy test, but here's the thing. When women are pregnant, and what, this, what the pregnancy test tests for is beta HCG, and I totally slurred my words right there. Um, now, when a woman is pregnant, she produces beta HCG, G, and when a guy has testicular cancer, most, most forms of testicular cancer, he produces beta H C G. Hi, I got it. Uh, so I was legit about to take a pregnancy test to see if I'd show up positive. <laughs> um, but there was only a few days before my doctor's appointment. I'm like, you know what? I don't need to know now. I'll just know later. Well, guys, that concludes the nine symptoms of testicular cancer. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for liking the video, commenting on the video, subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done that already, I'd really suggest you do that. Also, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will give you guys the fastest updates there on what happens with this testicular cancer because I'm about to go to the doctor on June 19th around 4.30 on Florida time. And I will find out, hopefully I'll get, hopefully I'll get conclusive results this time. If I still have testicular cancer or not, uh, and I'm very, very, very positive that my test will be negative, um, and because it's, it's very unlikely with how early I caught it, with how, uh, how unaggressive of a cancer this is, I got really lucky, you guys. Uh, you know, I can't say I'm lucky to have cancer, but at the same time, I was lucky to get this type of cancer and catch it on so early. So do me a favor, guys. If you are watching this video, you might... Um, relate to some of these symptoms and even if it's not testicular cancer and you have some of these symptoms there could be something very wrong testicular cancer isn't the deadliest thing in the world but either way please do me a huge favor you guys please get yourself checked out if you haven't already please just you're doing you're doing yourself a favor there's nothing wrong with going in and checking yourself out and having a doctor check you out because there could be something very wrong. I waited too long, even though I only waited a month and a half after my symptoms started. I still think I waited too long and I could have had, you know, every, every second you're waiting is a bigger possibility for it to spread. And I'm hoping that I did not wait too long, but I will find out on Monday. So with that, I will see you guys on Tuesday, uh, June 20th. I will post a video by then telling you guys my results. 
but I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. And I'm just really appreciative of that because you guys have really helped me get through this. Even though it wasn't much to get through to begin with. But I'm really thankful for every single one of you guys. And I look forward to continuing this channel with you guys. And I hope you stay subscribed. And I want you to chill.